Hello there, this is Robin Norgren back with you with another segment of Lug Poems from God. Uh, we are still working through some of the poetry by St. Francis of Assisi. And I wanted to start with one of uh, my favorites this week. And what I love about it is it's very much this reminder of how God can be found in so many ways. And really, that's what grace is all about, isn't it? That you can find God easily. He wants to be found. So let's start. This first poem is called The Sacraments. I once spoke to a friend an old squirrel about the sacraments. He got so excited. And he ran into a hollow in his tree and came back holding some acorns, an owl feather, and a ribbon he had found. And I just smiled and said, yes, dear, you understand. Everything imparts his grace. Isn't that so good? Here's one called In All Things. It was easy to love God in all that was beautiful. The lessons of deeper knowledge, though, instructed me to embrace God in all things. The lessons of deeper knowledge, though, instructed me to embrace God in all things. Of course I am jealous. We bless the earth with each step we take and the firmament too needs our touch. Someday our ten your tenderness will reach it. Look how the birds climb some invisible staircase and lay their hands upon him. Of course I'm in jealous when I cannot of course I am jealous when I too cannot do that. The seas waited long to sing. Not until we le leaped out laughing was their birth of us complete. Tell me about your heart, every word says. Speak to me as if we both lay wounded in a field and are gazing in wonder as our spirits rise. Speak to me as if we both lay wounded in a field and are gazing in wonder as our spirits rise. Only love honors God only love honors God. That sounds as if it could be true. But surely everything he made must be perfect. When I think about that, I think about anger and frustration and disappointment, sadness, and how if all those things are made by God, somehow there's some sort of perfection in it. It's just so hard to get our minds around, isn't it? God's admiration. God's admiration for us is infinitely greater than anything we can conjure up for him. Well, friends, if we only believed God's thoughts towards us, how would our lives change? Let me take it a step further. What if you believed that God not only felt those feelings for you, but for your neighbor? for that person that it's difficult to get along with, for all those in a situation you're struggling in, 
for your enemy, for those that do evil. Perfect love, it casts out fear. But it also gives you a steadiness to know that whatever is coming your way and whatever is in your midst, that even that you can experience the love of God through it. I hope you enjoyed part three of our love poems for God. Make sure and like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell if you're loving this series. I am also doing a book study on uh, St. Francis um, that you will see in the show notes. And then, of course, I do walking meditations. And soon I will start my yin yoga series. So um, if you are looking for um, a type of yoga that is less about power and more about um, just the ability to rest and be still, that is the type of practice that you might be interested in trying out. All right. Thank you, friends. See you soon.